welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Rizwana Manjur and I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Marketing Interactive. With me today, we have Troy Young, Managing Director of North Asia at Hivestack, and Sally Ng, Vice President of Sales for Hivestack Hong Kong and Taiwan. Thank you both so much for joining us because I am so excited to be exploring the world of programmatic with both of you, particularly in the area of digital out of home which has really gained popularity in recent times. So let me start with you, Troy, as you are the expert in this area. Can you share with us what is programmatic digital out of home and when did programmatic digital out of home um, start taking off globally and what's the reception been like here in Asia and Hong Kong? Sure. Well, first of all, thank you for having us today here. Um, let, let me ask, answer the very first question. Um, so there is one thing you need to remember, uh, programmatic digital out of home, also known as PDOOH, isn't a vastly different channel from digital out of home uh, or out of home, right? It's a simply a very different way of buying digital outdoor ads inventory. So uh, in summary, uh, programmatic digital out of home help brands to make data-driven choices when it comes to planning, targeting, optimizing and measuring outdoor campaign performance on brand awareness and on sales impact. So uh, digital out of home has been a very, we've seen programmatic digital out of home, we've seen a very healthy uh, growth trend since the beginning of 2017, uh, particularly in more uh, mature regions like North America and Europe. Uh, and we've seen a lot of uh, potential in APAC. Um, so Hivestack make our very first entry into North Asia early last year, and both clients and partners have a very, it's very receptive to these new solutions by showing their support um, via signing multi-year partnership deals with us and serving their very first programmatic digital out-of-home ad campaigns via our platform, both domestically and globally and allowing us to use them as case studies to promote to the broader industry. And it's really with these capabilities and the trust that we have built with our partners that they actually nominated us to be the chair of uh, the Committee for Programmatic Digital Out of Home of IAB here in Hong Kong. Thanks so much for that, Troy. Now, given that Hivestack is a full stack platform consisting of DSP, ad servers, and SSPs, how does this work in the local market, Sally? And are there any outbound opportunities that can run through programmatic DOH in multiple markets? Thank you for asking me these questions. Uh, first of all, let me break it down in terms of the process. Programmatic digital out of home use a demand side platform. DSP in order to programmatically buy, sell, and deliver at inventory in real time. The biggest advantage compared to the manual buying process through a CMS content management system or a loop-based model, it is to ease of activation and efficiency of buying several digital out-of-home media owners at inventory through one single platform. And in terms of our ad server, um, it serves as a role to help media owner to optimize their ad revenue across direct and programmatic sales along with our supply side platform. And uh, it ensure media owner with access to the largest brands and agency in the world, including sophisticated integration with major DSP and buyers. So in other words, they can get a larger circle of potential buyers to help evaluate the price for their infantry. So um, we often see successful case uh, running through programmatic digital out of home in multiple markets. Uh, just to uh, give an example, um, we have a clients that they leveraging the use of a Poland data trigger to ensure, ensure that the content is served at the right location, the right to the right audience at the right time in multiple markets, making the most impact possible. Mm, really interesting. Troy, do you have any uh, regional campaigns that you can share with us as well? Absolutely. So um, as you know, North Asia, it is a very big potential for uh, not just domestic market, for, but for outbound markets. 
Um, just just look at Facebook, Google for the past decades, right? So uh, since we launched uh, last year into North Asia, uh, we have already successfully delivered, you know, a number of what we call both outbound uh, and also inbound campaign as well, right? So outbound campaign, uh, a, a specific example is a gaming client in Korea who want to reach, uh, expand their footprints, their gaming um, platforms into Southeast Asian markets. So they've done a test campaign with us domestically in Korea and delivering the similar uh, ad campaigns across uh, all the markets in Southeast Asia. In terms of inbound, uh, you know, last year we have a very large global luxury clients who are delivering a global campaigns, you know, across multiple markets within Asia Pac. So again, the true beauty of programmatic digital out of home is with a single platform, now buyers can actually access all these cross country buys, you know, within, um, you know, sitting in, in their home country and, you know, within, within their fingertips. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, uh, you touched on a very uh, interesting point earlier and a, and a word that I like very much, which is trust, right? Uh, with any exciting or new platform, marketers have concerns and they need a trusted par partner to allay those fears. So what are some of the main concerns your clients have about programmatic DOH uh, when you speak to them? And what are some of the key considerations marketers and agencies must know when they're running programmatic? programmatic DOH? Mm. I, I think that's that's a very uh, great question. Um, so when it comes to clients, we have two types of clients. We have the clients on the buy side, uh, and then we have the clients on the sales side. So let me talk about you know some of the pain points or concerns on the buy side first. Um, like I said, outdoor advertising um, or programmatic digital out of home is not really a new uh, uh, medium, right? It's it's really buyers are already very familiar of outdoor advertising, where they contact the individual uh, media owners directly and buy the spots and pay and upfront. But with programmatic digital out of home, we now have the technology and the capability to buy impressions using location-based data across multiple media owners and serve campaigns at the right time, at the right place to the right audience. So educating clients to switch from buying spots in the loop to buying impressions using trusted data, it's really our mission to revolutionize the whole industry and the markets. And we want to be the market leader in this regions. Uh, speaking of the pain points for the media owners or the sellers, um, since our market entry into North Asia, uh, one of my very pleasant surprise was uh, we have been welcomed by all types of media owners from large to small to medium, as they are all very much aligned with our visions to building an outdoor advertising marketplace for brands. And the biggest concerns we often run into with media owners is the technology readiness of their screens to be integrated to our platform programmatically. Uh, now, luckily, we know this is a challenge because we have a lot of experience entering into uh, emerging markets, and we have invested heavily in our local uh, tax supporting team to help media owners locally to sort out a lot of their local technical challenge and issues. So now we're lighting up screens everywhere across Asia Pac. Clearly. Sally, anything to add on the key considerations um, when you're speaking to marketers and agencies and clients in Hong Kong? Sure. Um, so for the key consideration for brands and uh, agency, uh, consider programmatic digital out of home as a great medium. I would say that first of all is the, uh, the use of uh, audience data and the location data. Um, since we are doing the outdoor advertising uh, with the technology and also the data uh, available in the market right now, we are able to help the, uh, the brands target the, uh, the right audience at an outdoor environment in a smarter way instead of uh, uh, playing the ad in a loop-based uh, format. And at the same time for uh, advertiser, if you run a omni-channel campaign through programmatic, um, not only running 
uh, uh, banner ad or mobile ad, audio ad, uh, connected TV. At the same time, you can also consider to group programmatic digital out of home become one of your uh, omni-channel strategy. Um, what we are measuring and also the uh, buying method is mainly through the uh, CPM and also impressions so that for you and your media agency to evaluate the campaign effectiveness, they can use the um, universal language to uh, the measurement to do that. And um, for the programmatic digital out of home, um, the other benefits for the uh, brands and the agency is that the flexibility. Oh. So um, flexibility is also very important for uh, for running a campaign because you can uh, pause your campaign, you can uh, start your campaign at, at uh, align with your uh, um, campaign strategy and your schedule and uh, or a, sp a specific day or time within the week. Most importantly, digital, uh, uh, I mean, out of home uh, advertising is an um, environment that really hard to measure the campaign effectiveness. Now with the um, data technology, uh, so that the brands and agency can measure the campaign effectiveness by looking at several metrics, say for example, um, audience concentration and then audience concentration rate. Also, you can uh, track the performance across, uh, across several out of home media on a, within one single platform by looking at like uh, performance breakdown by media owner, by venue type, and also by um, different location as well. So, um, so it is very, uh, I, I think uh, the beauties of programmatic digital out of home is the uh, flexibility and then uh, uh, transparency transparency yeah absolutely flexibility is something that uh i think right now in today's world where we're reacting we're trend checking this is a vital uh element to have in your marketing campaigns where you are always reacting to the market trends right and i feel like i've learned so much from this conversation uh before i let you go my final question would be what advice would you have for marketers who are looking to invest in programmatic digital out of home but aren't quite sure yet <laughs> Troy, let me start with you. Sure. Um, let, let me give some very, very practical advice. Um, and to add on to what Sally just said about the whole, how the whole programmatic digital out of home um, campaign works. So un unlike other digital uh, channels, which is more one to one or one to few targeting, programmatic digital out of home is a one to many targeting channels, which allow marketers to reach its target audience at scale quickly and efficiently, right? So with our technology, now buyers can actually set their target audience they want to reach and at what level of target audience concentrations that they want to serve their campaigns um, at what time. But remember, when they set a very niche target audience coupled with a very high concentrations, they will likely run into uh, the issues of pacing uh, of the campaigns, right? Just similar to other digital uh, channels as well. So be realistic when it comes to setting your targeting strategies uh, for out of home, because again, remember, this is a one to many targeting. Yeah, yeah, very valuable advice there, Troy. Sally, any wise words for us? Um. I just mentioned about uh, omni-channel strategy. Mm. So I would like to reinforce this point. Um, programmatic digital out of home can really become part of the omni-channel strategy. So when you plan for your, uh, no matter it's a branding campaign or uh, um, a campaign drive, um, even for uh, driving for, for traffic to the to store uh, and uh, the, the event location, you may also consider um, utilize programmatic digital out of home as part of the, uh, uh, the placement to track the performance from the top funnel, from the brand awareness um, to the, uh, the low funnel. Look, look at the, like, uh, the store visitation, the footfall traffic. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for those very actionable insights. I'm sure our audience learned as much as I have uh, in this conversation. And thank you for your time to educate us more on this emerging medium. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. <laughs> <laughs>